Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring syslog and NTP. Here we can see the objectives uh, configure syslog service, generate logged events, manually set switch clocks, configure NTP service, and to verify time stamped logs. Just we will see the scenario. In this activity, we will enable and use the syslog service and the NTP service so that the network administrator is able to monitor the network more effectively. Well, uh, we will come to part 1. Configure syslog service. So, in that step 1, enable the syslog service. Click syslog, then services tab. Turn the syslog service on and move the window so you can monitor activity. Well, we will do this now. Now we will come to this uh, syslog. Yes. Here we can see the uh, service and uh, uh, we can see the, all the services here. And here we can see the syslog service. We are going to turn on this service. Right, now we will come to step 2. Configure uh, the intermediary devices to use the syslog service. Configure R1 to send log events to the syslog server. Yes, here we can see R1. Here they given the command uh, logging 10.0.1.254. And uh, here we can see uh, this is the IP address of our syslog server. Also, uh, configure S1 to send log events to the syslog server. Also, we are going to set, I mean, configure S2 to send log events to the syslog server. Yes, now we will uh, set uh, f uh, on R1. Yes. Here we are going to enable configure terminal and here we are going to give a logging and uh, here we can see the uh, IP address of the logging host. This is here. This is the IP address of our uh, uh, syslog uh, service uh, server. Right. Also, we will set on S1 as well as S2. CLI. We have to go to global configuration mode. Configure terminal. Here we are going to queue logging and uh, see that system server IP address also we'll go to S2 configure terminal logging here I'm going to give you the server IP address yes now we will come to a part 2 generate a logged events change the status of interfaces to create even logs Configure a loopback zero interface on R1, then disable it. Turn off PC1 and PC2, turn them on again. Right, we will uh, uh, generate this uh, logged events. Yes, now we will create this uh, loopback zero interface on R1. So here we are going to interface loopback zero. And here I am going to shut down it. And suddenly we can see the syslog right here. Now we will uh, turn off PC1 and PC2. Uh, the same time we can uh, see on syslog what happens here. Alright, we will come to PC1. Here I am going to turn it off. Well, yes. Turn it off here. And I'm going to turn it on. Yes, we will turn it off PC2 also. Yes. Now PC1, we will turn it on. And PC2, we will turn it on. Right. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Examine the syslog events. Uh, look at the syslog events. Not all of the events have been recorded. However, the timestamps are incorrect. 
well okay uh, clear the log before proceeding to the next part okay we will uh, verify uh, this uh, syslog events yes here we can see the syslog here we can see the details the status change to up also we can see yes state down yes here we can see the, all the syslog details Here we can see 10.0 to 2.2 and 10.0 to 2.2. Also, we can see the uh, PCs here. Now, we will clear this uh, log files uh, using this uh, clear log button. Yes. Now, we will come to part 3. Manually set switch clocks. Manually set the clocks on the switches. Manually set the clock on S1 and S2 to the current date and approximate time. An example is provided here. We can see the command what they given. So we are going to set this uh, clock on S1 and S2. First of all, we will come to S1, right. Enable. Here we are going to uh, set uh, clock. And now we have to specify the current time. Here I am going to queue right zero zero. Now we are going to uh, specify the month. Here I am going to give August date will give day of the month. Right, we will give one. And uh, we have the year. We will give two thousand seventeen. Now we will uh, set on S2. Yes. Enable. Here we are going to give a clock set 11:46 and to the month August day. Then we will set the year. Great. Now we will come to uh, step two. Enable the logging timestamp service on the switches. Configure S1 and S2 to send its timestamp with logs. It sends to the syslog server. Yes, we have to uh, set this command service uh, timestamps log daytime milliseconds. Right, we will set this command on both switches S1 and S2. First of all, we will come to S1. Right. We have to go to the global configuration mode, configure terminal, and here we are going to give service uh, timestamps log daytime. We have milliseconds, right? Now we will go to switch two. Okay, configure terminal. Service uh, timestamps uh, log daytime milliseconds. Right now, we will go to part four configure NTP service. So, in that step one, enable the NTP service. In this activity, we are assuming that the NTP service is being hosted on a public internet server. The NTP server was private, authentication could also be used. So we have to open the services tab of the NTP server, turn the NTP service on and note the date and time that is displayed. Right, we will uh, do this now. We will come to NTP server here. Services and uh, here we can see the service NTP and uh, we are going to turn it on. Here we can see the time and uh, date here we can see 7:52, and it's august 2017 on third right now we will come to uh, step two automatically set the clock on the router set the clock on r1 to the date and time according to the ntp server yes we, we already um, we have seen this uh, 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 setting NTP server, uh, NTP space servers space, then the IP address of our NTP server. Right, we will do this configuration now. We will come to R1.
enable configure terminal here we are going to give ntp server and the ip address uh, that is a 64.103.224.2 now we will come to a step 3 enable the logging timestamp service of the router configure r1 to send its timestamp with the logs that it sends to the syslog server well uh, we will come to r1 okay here we are going to set service uh, timestamps log daytime milliseconds right now we will go to part 5 verify timestamped logs so change the status of interfaces to create event logs re-enable and then disable the loopback zero interface on r1 turn off laptops l1 and l2 turn them on again so examine the syslog events look at the syslog events all of the events have been recorded and the timestamps are correct as configured so r1 uses the clock settings from the ntp server and s1 and s2 use the clock settings configured by you in part 3 right we will verify these uh, timestamped logs right now first of all i will open the syslog yes here it is now we will go to r1 configure terminal here we are going to the interface loopback zero and here i am going to give a no shut command also i am going to give shutdown command here yes now i am going to turn off l1 and l2 first of all we will turn off l1 yes i'm going to turn off here i am going to turn it on now we will go to l2 yes turn it off and we will turn it on here we can see the log file so this is the ip address of the router interface we can see the time here also we can see so this time is taken from the uh, ntp server yes yes that's all in this uh, packet tracer activity uh, configuring syslog uh, as well as uh, ntp friends if you like my video give a thumb also if you have any doubt please comment below again don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail Thank you.